What's up everybody, my name is Jeremy Jones and I am back with another video. Today we're talking Nike Air Max 1 Golf Play to Live. So stay tuned. All right, man, I'm back with another video, man. Before I get too deep into this video, y'all already know what to do. Go and hit that like button. It really helps the channel out. And if you know, consider subscribing. I made content about sneakers. All right, so let's dive in today's video. Just like I said in the intro, man, we're talking to Nike Air Max 1 Golf Play to Live. All right, man, we're going to be keeping things very simple over today. We're going to be answering the basic old question. Are they drip, flip, or skip? Let's just keep it there. All right, so first things first, these are set to release July 20th to the best of my knowledge, coming in at a retail price of $170, right? Okay. And of course, you know the kid glanced at the resale price, and right now, look like they're averaging $300 and up, depending on the size, right? Okay. That's right. I said $300 and up, right? Okay. That's why I had to put flip in the title, right? Okay. Now, to the best of my knowledge, these are some golf shoes, but they actually don't really look like it to the naked eye. But if you have to find these, these are loaded up on the Nike app, not the sneakers app, the Nike app. And yes, there's a difference. Yes, you sign in with the same information from your Nike account information to the sneakers app or vice versa, right? Okay, what I'm trying to say is, your login information, what you use for the sneakers app, you can lose for the Nike app as well, or vice versa. Hopefully that makes sense, and hopefully that didn't confuse anybody. But these are loaded up on the Nike app, right? Okay, they look slightly different, but they're both Nike, and you can arguably find both of some stuff that you purchase on either app on both of them, right? Okay, I don't know what Nike's idea with that is, so don't ask the kid. I'm just putting the information out there. Now, back to these Golf Air Max 1s, right? Okay, now Kwame, again, I can't help but think of you because the colors are all over the place around that toe area box area which is not a bad thing and i will say this definitely looks like a nice fun exciting shoe and great for summertime man but at the same time it's kind of one of those like is this really a golf shoe because to find these on the nike app i couldn't just type in nike air max ones and they came up right i had to type in nike air max golf and then they were literally like i think the first option saying coming soon on july 20th that's how i found out about these guys overall not a bad shoe but at the same time it's kind of one of those do you okay let me propose a question right do you have to play golf or be a golf player to rock this shoe I don't know personally because I know that I've never I'm not gonna say I haven't stepped foot on golf turf but I've never played golf you know what I'm saying most likely I probably had to do some extra duty or some cleaning up over there or I will say this the golf places that that are close in my area uh, have you ever been like inside of one of the like the little facilities whenever you're getting ready to get your gear uh, they have some nice like um food options right okay they usually have a cafeteria in there and usually it's banging right okay i know that's kind of off mode but that's what i can think of when it comes to golf right okay now when it comes to these play to lives i don't really have too much information on these but i'm just very surprised to see that they're averaging 300 dollars and up on the resale market so definitely that means these got an audience for sure and i'm not saying golf is slept on but it's definitely like that one of those if you know you know type of sports type situations right okay and you can tell like me here yeah, i don't know i know just enough about golf to be dangerous and to be honest that probably means i know nothing at all and somebody who plays golf professionally or just plays golf in general will probably talk circles and i'd be like huh yeah but overall this is about the sneakers not about golf but you got to tie them all together interchangeably for this video overall not a bad shoe and i will say this maybe for the golf heads maybe so right okay maybe it is like overall it's not a bad shoe and honestly the color palette you really can't go wrong with it even if these wore some regular air maxes which i'm assuming these are golf if i'm wrong that these aren't golf shoes Feel free to correct the kid down in the comment section. But right now, I'm telling you, why do they have golf in the title, right? And it could be just some misinformation that I could just be in a lost planet and y'all can bring me back to Earth. Trust me, I won't be mad at all because the stuff I receive in the comment section, trust me, you can't have no feelings when it comes to this YouTube game. But anyway, with all that being said, overall, not a bad shoe. But for me, personally, for the kid, these will be a skip. But I want to know what you guys think down in the comment section. We'll be going after these on July 20th, retailing at $170. And of course, let me know if you think they're drip, 
flip or skip. All right, man, I'm gonna go ahead and get up out of this thing and stop rambling, man. Y'all be sure to hit that like button. It really helps the channel out. And if you're new, consider subscribing. I make content about sneakers. Again, my name is Jeremy Jones, and thank you for watching, and I'm out.